Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tip. I'm going to show you how to use Mozilla Thunderbird to download email from your webmail account, such as Gmail or Yahoo, things like that. And it's a good way to keep your emails organized and to keep them backed up. So just do a Google search for Thunderbird, and that should take you to their main website where you can download the program. Now, this is by the Mozilla Foundation, and they also make Mozilla Firefox. So so I assure you that this is a, a trusted uh, piece of software um, and whenever you're through installing it you should see this screen. If you're using a Gmail account just select Gmail, click next and uh, type in a name for the account and then your email address, click next and finish and that's pretty much it. It's going to prompt you for your password and then start downloading your messages. So for Yahoo, it's a little bit more difficult. You need a third-party piece of software called YPOPS. And if you do a Google search for that, it will take you to the website where you can then download it. And basically, this is just going to allow you to uh, uh, connect your Yahoo email account to an email client such as Thunderbird. And whenever you're through installing it, you should see an icon at the bottom. Then just go back to your Thunderbird account and select create new account select a regular email account and type in a name for it then type in your email address click next make sure pop is selected and put the incoming server's local host then click next next and finish and it should prompt you for a password and start downloading your messages now to send messages through yahoo you want to go to edit properties select outgoing server from the menu click add and for the description just put something like Yahoo Pops for the server name put 127.0.0.1 make sure the port number is 25 and then type in your username and click OK now if you go to server settings you can check to leave the messages on the server until you delete them which is a good way to keep another copy now for a hotmail account select a regular email account and then click next just type in a name for the account type in your email address click next and make sure pop is selected and for the incoming server put pop3.live.com then click next and next and it's not going to automatically start downloading your messages you have to adjust a couple things first so go to edit properties under your live account select server settings and change the port number to 995 and uh, choose SSL from the security settings now since we're in here to send messages, go to the outgoing server, add a Microsoft Live server for smtp.live.com and type in your username and click OK. Then you can set it for your default. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.